everybody, welcome back to This Random Journey. Today I wanted to show you really quick something I just learned. Um, I've always struggled with cleaning my grout in my kitchen and my bathroom, and I absolutely hate tile floor because of this. If you look right in this area, if you look right over there, you can see I've already tested this so that I know that it works, but I just wanted to show you how quickly and effectively it does work. So what you're gonna need is you're going to need some uh, just some hydro hydrogen peroxide uh, some baking soda I have it in this little jar but um, I bought a big box of it because I'm gonna do all my floor because I am so happy with how it turned out just a uh, bristled brush or a toothbrush will work fine um, some kind of a mixing thing in a spoon a uh, bucket of clean water and a rag to clean up the dirty water um, so I just want to show you really quick how you mix it up Basically, you're going to make a paste of hydrogen peroxide and the baking soda. And it's not any special amount. Actually, I think that it will even work if it's more watered down. I'm going to actually test that theory later. Um, I did over there. It was pretty a pretty thick paste. But um, I'm going to try. Actually, this time I'm going to try doing it thinner, um, I think. Because I already know it works really good with that way, so I want to see if it'll work thinner um, because I will be able to spread it faster, basically. So I'm just going to spread this by pouring it on the, the grout this time. I'm doing it a little different than I did last time, so hopefully it turns out and you guys can see. And... Alright, so, and then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to spread this so that maybe I can get um, more use out of my stuff, so hopefully it works out fine. If not, I'll re- I'll redo it and show you a better one, but hopefully it just will be fine. But um, I think that even thinner, I'm pretty sure is going to work. So I'm just going to let that sit for about five minutes, and then we will come back and we will scrub it, and I will show you the difference, the before and the after. All right, so it's been about five minutes, maybe more like four minutes, but. Um, I really don't think you have to put it on there for five minutes um, anyway, but I just want to do that for good measure. Um, because this over here, which you can't really see it, but this right here actually didn't soak at all. Um, it was just from the runoff that I had um, on the other. So let's just try this. So we'll just start by scrubbing back and forth. Make sure I don't get in the way where you guys can see what's happening. I don't know if you can tell, I can, where it's cleaning and not so far. And I'm not really scrubbing, I'm just rubbing back and forth. I'm not having to do any work. It's not like I'm sitting here scrubbing the desk, which with other things I've done. One time I took a wire brush, which you can still see the effects of the wire brush. Um, actually right here, you can see where I used a wire brush and it ate, uh, ate away a little bit at my grout. I mean, that won't come out um, with even with this, so that was a my bad, bad method, and that's when I stopped trying to clean my grout. Um, I tried all kinds of stuff. I tried straight bleach one time, and while it would clean, it was, I don't like using that harsh of chemicals on my floor in my house. All right, um, so I'm just going to take that over and let that kind of do its thing over there. You guys get to see my arms. Sorry. Um, so that, you see, I didn't even soak it. I don't know if you can actually see way over there. Yeah, you can a little bit, not much right there, you can. Um, I didn't even soak that, and you see it's coming clean. Um, I just need to waste this stuff now. So, um, let's see here, I'll stop for now and let you see this stripe. And then I'm going to continue to do the rest of this kitchen. But, um, I don't know if you can see that or not real good. I like that little excess over here. That is pretty amazing to me because I have for years thought that it was impossible to clean my grout. And in a matter of, let's say, seven minutes, if that, I don't even think you have to soak it that long. Um, actually, I'll do one more little test with you guys uh, on this video and see just if I just put it on, let it sit for like a few seconds, and then take it off, how well it works. So let's try that now. Alright, so this is going to be our test. 
you already know how to do this part, but I'll just do it again real quick. We're just going to test and see if we were, and that was with, um, over here guys, what we did a second ago was with the uh, more liquefied version. So I'm going to do that again, Maybe a little bit thicker than that, still a little thin. Um, so that worked fine. So I'm going to just keep doing that because it's less um, waste. I'm all about less waste. And I'm going to move you guys ever so slightly so that we can, oops, I got my thing and some stuff. Okay. We're going to do that spot right there. So we're going to do this spot right here. And I'm just going to... I'm just going to use my finger. He's afraid, not me. Okay. You guys can hear my kids are outside <laughs> banging around on the deck. My, my husband's out in the shed. No worries. All right. So we got that on. I'm going to rinse my hands off. Ugh. All right. Got what I love about this, and I hope I don't get this on my skirt, but um, what I love about this is how easy it is. So in real time, I haven't paused it or anything. Let's just see if it will clean without soaking. It probably will. Maybe I have to scrub or something. I don't know. Not really having to scrub. It's coming up. I don't know if it's going to be as good. Let's we'll see. Hard to tell at this at the beginning. Here. Wow, guys. I think it's going to be just as good. Which makes me happy because that's going to take way less time to scrub. This made my day. What I might do instead of the full five minutes, I might just soak it like for one minute. So that was literally, I didn't let that soak at all, but um, I'm gonna let it soak, soak for like one minute just to make sure it gets, you know, any hard spots. Now let's see, let's rinse it off. Real quick. I'd say that you don't have to if you don't want to. Look at that. If you don't want to, you do not have to soak at all. <laughs> um, that's just if you want to, to make sure if there's any hard spots to get, um, that you get those. So, highly recommended. It's just hydrogen peroxide, baking soda, um, mix it together, throw it on there, have your little brush, scrub, 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 and then have some water to rinse up and, and then afterwards just rinse it, all the, you know, stuff up. And it's easy as that. It's great. Um, so anyways, I was really excited to find this. I hope you guys liked this video. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button, and I'll see you next time.